Hi everyone, Robin here from Flightline Media. Today we are tackling Special Hobby's AH-1G Cobra and 148 scale. At this point in time, we would like to thank Special Hobby for the kit and the mask they sent us. The kit has great detail and goes together really well. You're given decals for either the Spanish version or the IDF. If you're enjoying what we are presenting here, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons. Leave us your valuable comments and this will enable us to reach more who have the same love for this hobby. I started with the cockpit. To achieve scale effect, I lightened the paint by 20% with white. This was to give the cockpit a little bit of contrast in comparison with the outer body of the paint which will be painted in dark blue. I masked the seats to paint the cushions olive green. I love the way the olive green and the olive drab contrast with the grey. It gave a very nice look and feel to the cockpit. Using Tamiya panel liners, brown and grey, I used that as a wash for the cockpit to give it some life. I like to highlight the instrument panels using Tamiya black panel liner. I build up the coats as I go along. I then pick the raised detail using lighter grey, whites, yellows, reds with very fine brush. One small drawback in is the seats. It comes void of seat belts. This can be easily remedied using either a PE set or creating your own belts. I decided to use a PE set that I had in my stash, which resembled the belts that are found in the Crowbar G. Conforming the PE belts to the seat to create a more realistic feel. adding big details that needs to be put in at this time. The cockpit is now ready to be installed, but before we install it, we need to put the weapons officer's control. My reference pictures show that it is in a certain angle when it's on the ground. I bring the two halves together. I have not placed the cockpit in when I did this. I found that I can slide it in later once I had a good bind on the fuselage. I added plastic rods to act as stiffeners to avoid the two halves caving in.
Because of the stiffness being placed, I was able to bring this part in very well and it fitted without any issue. I used light putty to fill out certain areas of seam and then I either lightly sanded it or just wiped it off to get what I wanted. The test fits for the skids and the side pods. The side pods go together without any glue, it just snap fits. So it was brilliant. Special Hobby produces masks for the canopy and it's really great because it gives you masks for the exterior as well as the interior of the canopy. I hit the surface with primer, Mr. Surfacer Grey 1500. I then proceeded to add white primer to the original grey to lighten it and to add some pre-shade. I used Mr. Color Character Blue C110 for the base blue. I then came in with clear blue, added with gloss to give it that deep blue look as well as a gloss coat to prep it for decals. I sprayed olive drab for the armaments and the pods. The paint job for the gun pod was something I wanted to try. I used layers of gunmetal, brass, violet and metallic blue to give it that burnt, used, worn look.
I use pink base to bring out the yellow. I find that it gives a more character to the yellow when using a pink base as opposed to white, but it depends on the situation. I then masked and painted flat black. I started putting on the decals. Now, there's a lot of raised rivets on this aircraft and because of the raised rivets, a lot of Mr. Setter was used, but we need to do it at a very patient buildup so as to allow the setter to work and the decals to conform. So you can't rush this. And I think we got a very good effect on these decals and I was very pleased with the results. I then came back with another coat of gloss and to prep it for weathering. I'm using Tamiya panel light grey to highlight the panels. I wanted a very soft contrast of grey against the uh, blue. some final details in the cockpit before I place the canopy. I gently clean off the canopy of any mask residue. Adding wash of black and light grey to the rotors. I now spray a flat matte coat over the entire aircraft to prep it for the next step of weathering.
I'm using Mr. Weathering Color Dark Brown together with white oil to bring out depth in the weathering pod pods and the weapons. After that, I seal it with a coat of flat. Adding washes to the interior with oil paints. In closing, I would like to say that this kit was such a pleasure to build. I was blown away by the amount of detail contained in the kit that allows you to build a very accurate Spanish or an IDF version. So here you have it guys. Thank you very much for viewing our channel, supporting us and we look forward to many more projects in the coming future.